Oh no. Oh no, it's all broken. It's all bad. It's all Uh-oh. bad. Hello, ladies Uh-oh. and gentlemen. It's and it's broken and it's it's all bad. <laughs> well, welcome sucks. to the broken. Um I'm oh, once dear. again bad at my job. Nah, he's a um I oh uh, nope, it's all broken. It's um <laughs> mm, uh there. Maybe m- maybe there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Over the Horizon. And uh, now that I took the time to put the cams in the right spot, uh, <laughs> what happened last week, everybody? Uh, well, well, for once, it wasn't <laughs> Snell that earned this. It was uh, Lotus for summoning a bunch of snakes. So, uh, complimentary. <laughs> Oh my god. Snake nerds. Uh we fought the um the vampire. Fucking Count Dracula. The, man, the guy who's been who's been pri- imprisoned down here. This prison was specifically built for him by Astra himself. Vampiric or, or themselves. garbage. And we he has he has gained full power from giving us the suck and drinking our blood. <laughs> And um, we fought shadowy versions of people we know. Uh, we fought valiantly, people. but he got away. He teleported up. I, at least that's what we're assuming. That he he's like he was like, All right, I'm done with y'all, and he teleported <laughs> out. Peace. Yeah, people he out. stretch because uh, John was there. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Um, and then. And then we decided that we we're going to keep going the path. Because we were like, should we turn around and go back back up, or should we keep going the path? And then Lotus and we, yelled, no, my sister gave me the script, and it she, says she that was, we have to keep going. Yeah, it was like, no matter what you hear, you go keep going the path. I lose. I'm not supposed to lose. Give me the script. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I think we did. We made our way. Oh, um, we made our way to a bridge. Um, yes, we and we, we crossed, crossed the bridge. And there was a um, uh, what we believe believed to be the underside of the um, the lighthouse, uh, and a generator that we needed to put coal into. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. Um. God, we spotted and something we else, but I can't remember. And we also got remember. the uh, we got the thing running. We got oh, the generator I got, running. There I got was, a, like, a I got beam a, of light. Yep, I got a pretty amulet. Forgot about you that. Pretty, Put that in my pocket. Uh, mm-hmm. I got a necklace so far. I don't know what it does. So now. Have this so that Daniel can complain that you have all of the money and magic items as we give you all the money and magic items to see if they're <laughs> actually magic items. All right. <laughs> but uh, I think that's kind of where we left off uh, when we were powering up the uh, the generator. That sounds about right. Well, before we get into the session, I do have a short little opening for everybody. Ooh. We look out upon Beacon, now emblazoned in light. This lighthouse is slowly rotating and shining this extremely bright beam of light out into the fog that almost seems to cut into it, pierce it. And as we're watching... The fog itself seems to all start to drain at once, heading towards the entrance to the cave. We see the small figure of Guilford as he uh, hurriedly limps up the road leading from the cave with his uh, stool in tow, the fog pouring ever quicker into this hungry... uh, This hungry maw of a hole. As we look upon this scene, the sun, for the first time in centuries, starts to 
peek out among the clouds, among this fog, as it casts its gaze along <clears throat> as it casts its gaze along the roads and the houses of uh, Beacon. We see two figures, one with an umbrella, holding an umbrella over the other, quickly making their way inside the library. As we hear voices, I've been trying to get in for two days. No luck. That bitch has eyes everywhere. We managed to lose control of this place, so you can't expect it to be easy to break back in, can you? Whatever happened here, it's not our job to fix. And there's nothing here that we can easily reclaim. Just plant the marker and move on. I know, I just... <sighs> All right, fine. We need to go through the rest of the camp while we're at it, while we've got the time. We need to grab a few things and make a dead drop while we can before they come back out of those mines. You never know. They could be lost. Dead, even. I doubt it. We're not going to get that lucky. I asked once before, and you didn't answer. But with all you've seen, do they change the parameters of the mission? <sighs> if a fish is stronger and faster than the others, does that mean it can avoid the bird of prey forever? Okay, enough with the... Enough with the fucking fables or whatever the fuck. I, I get it. We ride this to the end of the line. And with that, we cut to deep underground, underneath the lighthouse, in front of this chugging, whirring, loud machine. Lotus has just passed out oh, ben, and turned from her bear form back into her human form. Benoit has fallen off and he's crouched by her side. Lotus, uh, Lotus, uh, guys, I, I think something's wrong. Lotus stands up. She T poses. Um, <laughs> I would, um, I think I would just go over and also I just, check her pulse and whatnot just to make sure she's still breathing. Uh, and if she is, I'll I'll scoop her up and be like, I God, this is one of the the worst time to pass out. Her pulse is strong and steady, but <clears throat> but ensure her breathing is normal. But she does okay. not wake. <laughs> can I can I scoop her up? Is that possible? Yeah. How heavy does she weigh? <laughs> okay. Gonna, yeah, I'll just put her on my shoulder. Um, we can say you are encumbered. Is that okay with you? That's fine with me. Okay. You know you're not supposed to ask a druid their weight. Especially a druid. It's not because they're going to get mad or anything. It's because they're going to tell you their weight in all of their forms. It takes like four <laughs> hours. Well, when I'm like a bear, <laughs> I weigh this. When I'm a fish, I weigh this. When I'm a crocodile, I weigh this. When I'm an ape, I weigh this. But when I'm a giant ape, I weigh this. So now, what, what, what just happened? I do. I look like I'm a doctor. I'm not it's, her. The the generator. You, this. I know you're not a. It's generating. Okay, so we did what we need to do. Go right. back up, right? Walk over and snatch the note out of Lotus's hands that she's been using to guide us this whole time. The script. You know, I grab, yes. the, uh, I grab the script, I read it, I skip ahead a couple pages, see what we need to do. So, um... Let me just look at this letter, because I think the best part is, yep, you're all out of script. Oh, oh no. 
All right, improvise. You will find the machine at the lowest point in the caverns. At the first fork, take a right. You've done that. Benoit will want to explore the ruins. She should spend no more than five minutes exploring. The next fork, take a left. The monsters are dangerous. Keep Benoit in front. At the last fork, take a left. Uh, take a left first. You will have enough time to return and take the right fork. Do not stray from the path, no matter what you hear. Now, Sinel. That last part concerns you. You will have enough time to return and take the right fork. Because as you turn and look at the entrance from where you came, it is billowing fog, dumping it into this seemingly bottomless cavern that stretches itself between the machine, the island that the machine is on, and the way you came in. Mm hmm. Eh, but would we be able to like run across if like if we ran and tried to rush or is it basically it is back? No, it is pouring out fog. There is no way you're getting back through that without most likely succumbing to your burn injuries. So we only have one way then. That we can essentially go. That yeah. <laughs> to, to live. Snow just balls this up and it's like, this is why no one cares about. This is why no one should live into, listen to prophecies. All right. I guess um, this way then, since it seems that we're going to get. And I would actually like. Cast out. Flanagan, real fast. Diochi is uneasy. Is uneasy about this whole thing because your guys' only entrance is now blocked off by fog. The only way out is blocked out, is, as far as oh, you know, is blocked by fog. This machine is, um, she's doing her best to stay as far away from it as possible, as if it's painful to be near. And. There's something else, but you can't quite make it out. Oh, it's okay, Dog. Look, I know. Uh, this sucks. Hold on, uh, one sec. Hello. Hello. Good. Hello? It's me you're looking for. I can see it in your eyes. I can see. By the way, Till, I'm going to give you a spell to help with the fact that you're carrying a uh, T posing glitch <laughs> out uh, lotus. But I probably need it. I, will I am so you sorry it. about that. My audio just completely cut out, but I'm back yeah, now. You're good. So you're good. I just heard it. Uh, you say D it's okay, Dog. Aaron, now there... now he's deafened. Now he's deafened. Why? Why? He, he, he's deafened on Discord. You're deafened. Why? You're deafened. <laughs> You're deafened. <laughs> okay. Hello? Hello? You're deafened. Oh, there you are. There you are. There. We're back, baby. Woo! Those okay. You all look better. I'm... No. I, I just... So, the last thing I heard was, it's okay, D.O.G. Yeah, um, it's it's alright, D.O.G. I know this sucks, you know? Um, we're just gonna... We're just gonna keep on trucking. Um, I'm gonna lead this team to victory. We're gonna straight up home these guys because we're the greatest for the grinning devils. There's no stopping us. Um, and then we're gonna get right back out of there. So don't even worry, Dog. Like, lead us to victory. Up. Our way is blocked. A little bit of fogging. The way is blocked. <laughs> oh no. 
but maybe maybe we just gotta risk it and run through run through the fog if you want to die that's M- your maybe, business maybe we should spend a little time seeing if there's like another way out first let's exactly. go Okay. Right. Snow, by the way, has taken their gun and some tools and is tinkering around with it before uh, just shooting at Attila oh. for a... Uh... <laughs> We're going to give them bull's strength to double their carrying capacity. Well, uh, Lotus just got a lot lighter. Yeah. As this bullet hits you in what seems like all this green magical meshing just envelops ow, around ow, you. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, all right. Um, as everybody's ears begin to uh, undeafen from the shot that's ringing through this cavern. Oh, um, you, it's probably you, not like an actual bullet. Okay, then everybody hears as you do that. There is a small squeak slash scream as Benoit... Just no, we can't just be <laughs> shooting. Oh no no no! I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I feel. I... No, look. You know what? I Someone do this all the time. To me they shoot me all right. We... and it's not cool. You know what I mean? I mean it. It, it kind of hurt at first, but it feels it feels fine now. You know, Lotus is a lot lighter now. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm gonna start looking around the cavern <laughs> for somewhere. The another exit. Something. Start digging. Looking for something, no, I don't know. Please warn me next time. Don't no, warn Benoit and me. Mostly Instead of saying yes, pass. just spin the pistol and then holster it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dick. <laughs> All right, everybody. Okay. Ah, uh, have you found the way out? Well. Wow. I would love for everybody to make me some perception rolls. Yes. To see if we can find the way out. Prepare yourself. Come on. I have a plus seven for a reason. All right. Let's go, baby. Big money, big money, big money. No whammies. All right. That's pretty good. (laughs) Attila. It catches your eye as almost a glimmer. There's, on the back wall, through this tangle of copper and steel piping, there's something off about a section of the wall. It has a slight shimmer to it. Yeah. Okay, I'll um I'll set Lotus down just like on a wall or something, and I'll go and start mm-hmm. moving pipes and copper and stuff, and see if I can get a better view. So all of this piping is attached to the. Oh, machine. it's attached. Oh, yeah. Okay, well then. Yeah. So it's it's basically on the other side of the machine. So can, is there anything I can move out, or am I going to have to start ripping away pipes with my bare fucking hands? It's moving. You, have it uh, you could. Checks. You can, you can, um, as you're looking, you can see a place, like, ways you can probably slip through the piping without moving any of it. It's just going okay. to take a minute to get there, especially if you take Lotus with you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just uh, yell out, like, I think I found something over here, and I'm just, like, trying to see if there's... I'm a f- fucking 6'9 lion man. Ow. You know who's <laughs> tiny, though? Will a six nine lion man fit into this? Fit to get through these pipes? Is that possible? I'm gonna get it, through these like pipes. Like I said, no it'll take you a minute. All it's, right, I pull up. It, I pull up it, on my dog. We could also send Maddie in too. That too. Give me a small person. I need. I need the tactical gnome. <laughs> team captain. You need the team captain. So who are we sending? Yes, brave leader. Do you want to go, or do we send the machine? Yes, uh, please, please, don't beg, don't beg. Uh, I'll go. I'll do what a leader must do. I'll, uh, I'll go in alone. All right. 
I'm going to move my way through the pipes. It, <laughs> it's a little bit of a different problem for you um, because uh, you have you've had this feeling before during times when you're dealing with things made by humans for humans. Everything is, you know, yeah, great. Why is it three feet tall? Why is it three feet tall? Huh? Too tall for me, too short for you fuckers. Why do you do shit like this? Yeah. But you find your way um, up and over certain pipes under others. Um, <clears throat> you get a sense pretty quickly. The copper ones have some sort of heated gas or liquid going through them because they are hot to the touch. But as you make your way towards the back, um, I have a feeling like you're going to have to kind of be directed to the spot on the wall that is being pointed out um, by okay. Attila. Um, <laughs> so I want to be like, Attila, the copper ones, <sighs> they're making this really weird noise. I think you need to put your face like all the way up against it so you can hear the noise that the copper ones are making. Don't do like, that. You just put like all the way up on it. Like you really gotta listen for it. Don't do that. There is a section of copper pipe right next to you, Attila. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> watch, watch. I'm letting that twenty. This, you ready? <laughs> Light work, no problem. All right. Uh, that's a lie. That's a solid. Uh, fourteen. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna. I don't think I feel like that's not gonna help at all. I need. <laughs> no, this all right. I, I'm gonna. Hey, hey, hey. Can you hear my? You can hear me. All right. All right. I'm gonna try and lead you to where, where the area I saw. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So to the left. Take it back take, now, y'all. Take it back now, y'all. <laughs> and with one hop no I'm done. I'm done it's been real guys I'm out. bro the reference <laughs> you are on the you <clears throat> you still can't physically see what's wrong with this supposed section of wall yeah but um According to Attila, you're right there. <laughs> okay. You're right there, man. Is right is there. is Sinel able to investigate it further? Maybe fi like figure out any sort of contraption? Uh, this is like Sinel would have to get closer. Can I do a little Ooh. investigation? Hey. Sure. You could make Sinel do some hey, investigation. You just have to hit it. Ready hit it really hard. Maybe that will help. I'm about to change everyone's lives. That minus one really well, seals the deal. Like any good investigator, the first thing you do is you attempt. Well, I'll give you a choice. Are you are you touching the wall or are you licking the wall? Mm, I lick the wall because it seals like something <laughs> Snell would do. <laughs> because it feels like something <laughs> Snell would do. I get do. real close and I like listen and then I just lick it. You lick the wall. And um, you're taken aback because it doesn't taste like anything. Like um, you didn't actually lick the wall, even though you know you did. I know I licked that wall. You did what? Ooh. Is this an illusory, illusionary wall? <laughs> Is this an illusion? And I'm like, wait. Fucking magic? Wait, you heard so, that, right, Attila? You heard that, right? He said he licked. Why no, are you I, licking I, I mean, walls? No, 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 I as tried long, to lick the wall, but I didn't lick the wall, and I need you to come and lick as, the wall that I. As long as you figure it out, I don't care what you do. Here, and it's just Sonel's just gonna throw Maddie through all of these contraptions to uh to uh Flanagan. And she, she's going to just right. try and walk through this wall that was licked. Just... You chuck Maddie over to uh, Flanagan. I will catch her Flanagan. After I do a 360 swim, 
So what you actually mean to say is you bobble Maddie, Maddie a couple times and try not to drop her? Absolutely not. <laughs> well, if you set Maddie down. And she walks towards the wall and um, <clears throat> Flanagan, she disappears into the wall. Oh. And then after a short pause coming from the other side of the wall, Look what I found! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly uh, what you hear. Fucking magic. And but Guys, here's here's ball. the thing: it's a little muffled. Mm-hmm. It, it's muffled. It, that that sound is muffled. All right, yeah, I'm scoop, found a fake scooping wall. up Lotus. Yeah, and I'm walking into the wall. Lotus. All right, you you're gonna take the time to work your way through. I think you'll have Benoit right behind you. Um, probably Benoit, like, push. Um, no, Benoit, push right here. No, that's God. You just hear like the snapping of a bone. Yeah, and every every now and then you hear just uh, like. <laughs> she keeps keeps repeating that on loop to let us remember where the wall is. As you work your way towards um, this spot in the wall. Um, you do have to take some effort to not burn yourself on these copper pipes. No, I've definitely lost some hair. That's for sure. There's some <laughs> fur marks that are burned off. Uh, it smells yeah, like maybe. eggs in here. It it smells great. To put your face on <laughs> for funsies. Smells like burnt hair. Burnt cat hair. Mm. Burnt cat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but making your way to the back wall, the three of you. Well, the four of you, because Benoit's there too. Um, Benoit has uh, picked a route much the same as Flanagan, going under thir- certain pipes and then having to climb over others. But The short queen path. The short queen path. You're absolutely right. Getting to this section of wall, um, Attila, it's pretty obvious to you that um, this section of the wall is now that you've had a moment to uh examine it up close that this section of wall is in fact not what it appears to be there is a thin thin outline around this section that contrasts it just enough I'm an idiot. So now, <laughs> I just walk through. <laughs> you just walk straight through. And you are drenched in water as you step through a thin layer of water into the other <laughs> side. Um, Flanagan, Snell, he's just he's just walked through the uh he's yeah, just he, walked through the wall. Attila's pissed. It's just one big uh, fuck you on top of and it. The, the the one who could have potentially somehow warned you, this little robot is sitting on the other <laughs> side of this as you come through, drenching wet. She is also drenching wet. It just looks up at you. God. You couldn't have said something before. Come on. This wasn't a triumph. I'll say. <laughs> I'll say. But uh, I go in. I fucking follow Attila. Yeah, you're good. It's just you get you're wet. drenched in water, much the same. I let Dog like stay and sip some of the water from the. Honestly, top. that was the worst part of this this cave. I'm not gonna lie. Of this cave, water. Honestly, <laughs> it's kind of refreshing, man. Like just making sure my locks are locky. You know what I mean. I'm just okay. I, yeah, I'm just walking. I gotta keep it looking good for Grokka, You know what I mean? Nope. And Sunel, as you step through, the same thing. And Benoit is just right behind you. I like to think that most of the water goes around Sunel because of the cloak of protection. This water is technically right. attacking you. Technically attacking you. So, um. Boom. But as you step through, um, looking at this from the backsides, so now it becomes much more obvious why the water is there. Mm-hmm. The um, hmm, how to put this? Uh, this uh, water flow is 
just one straight sheet. It's not making any noise. There's no disturbance in it. It almost looks like a pane of glass. And <laughs> no, stop that. <laughs> um, but um, you can see that this illusion has been layered just on the other side of this water. As if somebody realized that you can better avoid detection uh, of this if say by maybe somebody with, I don't know, blind sight, if, um, you know, there's actually something physically on the other side of it. <laughs> this entire thing was set up to screw over Gideon. Who's not here, yes. <laughs> I'm a ranger. But as, as, as you take the time to look at that, you realize it is night and day, the difference between these two rooms. The machine room, uh, huge, expansive, almost looks like a natural cavern. Here, all of this is meticulously carved. It doesn't take um, a master dwarf mason to let all of you know that um, the inlaid tile floor and... Um, <clears throat> and uh, brick walls and ceiling um, display excellent craftsmanship. Oh, you mean this is... If there was a dwarf in the party, they wouldn't have to do the Yukon Cornelius of going up and going, you know, just giving the, giving the masonry a little... I mean, and in this world, you know, they got to they gotta give a little bit of a, you know, a test bite, a little bit of a crunch. A little bit of a test bite. <laughs> a little bit of a Forgot crunch. Forgot about that. But, um, mm, granite, my favorite. This place looks, um, well, manufactured isn't, isn't the half of it. It looks Our like it was, meti yes, meticulously laid out. It's not <laughs> ordained. Uh, it, ordained. Wow. That's the word I try to use at, you know. 11 o'clock it's not dwarves it's not it's not, it's not um it's not gaudy it's not really gilded or ornamental in any way it's just very well done with a precision that you don't see anymore are we even in the same place since dwarves eat go. rocks does that mean they go to good architecture they take a you know they go up to the coliseum they take a bite of it they're like mm, that's some artisanal shit right there is it is it like someone's been living in here? It doesn't look like it has there is there are piles of dust on the floor. It doesn't look mm. like anybody oh, okay, has been so. here in a very long time. But when people were here, I mean this place was meticulously crafted. Oh, what what's um what's in the room? Is it like is it filled up or is it just in It is a hallway. Hallway. Okay, gotcha. That seems to lead north. Uh, and Flanagan, well, DOG, underneath you, after going through the waterfall, has just shaken all of that water off. So for yes. half a second, you get a bull rodeo. <laughs> yeah. Yes, good girl. Make sure to get all of that on snow. It'll be all right, well. It probably all lands on Maddie, who just looks at you with as much of a sad expression as this blank she doesn't have a face but as much as she can I feel so cold <laughs> Snow, do the robots feel cold? Yes really? She wouldn't say so otherwise Wow Alright, I'm gonna start walking down the, so the hallway <laughs> Alright Heading down the hallway, each of you. What order are we in, actually? Um, I'll go first. I'll be okay. first. <laughs> yeah, because uh, do you have anything for improvised weapons? Can you swing Lotus as a club? I I have a I have a um uh, you know I have can have ball? claws. I have claws. You have a one-handed sword, don't you? Yeah, I have one-handed yeah, sword. All and claws. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. I beat a motherfucker with another uh, motherfucker. Yeah, we're it's gonna oh, happen yeah. again. Have flashbacks for Friday. I, yeah, another I, one I, of Amy's characters gets used as a weapon. I was I was gonna say it's like I can't wait to tell Amy when she gets back. Like, by the way, guess what your character did last session? <laughs> <laughs> she, never she, was a, she was a flail. She made all of the uh, saves. All right. Don't worry. <laughs> It doesn't take you long going down this hallway <clears throat> before you start to hear the crackle of a fire and see a light down the hall. Um, I guess I'll approach it cautiously and stealthily. I'll just okay. put my hand and be like, and tell like tell everyone to like just get down, get lower to the ground, <laughs> hand hand and over the whole. You hear, you hear Benoit. Is that a fire? Yes. Just out loud. <laughs> to be heard. And moi, be the predator. Okay, be the knight. She just like. Uh, she don't just know what lies at that fire. All right, perfect. <laughs> um, and as you step closer and towards the edge of this hallway. There's no door. It simply opens into what you're thinking is probably a study of some sort. There's dank, moldering carpet on the floor. Um, on the walls are rotting murals. At the center of this room is a massive table with a fireplace uh, towards the center of it. The fireplace is going going strong, like it's been there. Like it's, I mean, like it had just started burning. But the rest of this room is a mess. Scattered across this table um, are books, old papers. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, his, yeah, his camera just went down. Cam died. Okay, that's fine. Um, papers, books, uh, in several... Uh, no no better way to explain it. There are several skeletons um, in various Whoa! spots on this table. Scary. As each of you step into the room, um, I think you hear Benoit say, is it safe to talk now? No I, bones about it. I think so. Um, can I just walk over to the desk and just like flip through pages desk. just to get desk? I'm so sorry. Have, so there is, oh, oh, you have your room or you have a central table. Oh, okay. Then just the table. A whole bunch of papers and stuff strewn on it. Yeah, I, I just wanted to walk over to the table and just like look at mm -hmm. any of the documents on here, just to get a gist of what where I might be, perhaps, or like a name or something, you know. Okay. Well, uh, as you're doing that, uh, I can have you doing that. What is Sunel doing? Table as well. Oh, I have a question. This yes. rug. Is it torn? No. There have not been orcs here, then. <laughs> uh, no, Snell's actually probably going to investigate the, the skeletons. All right. <clears throat> and when Flanagan gets back, Flanagan can tell me what's going on with Flanagan. Flanagan... Oh, there it is. Flanagan will um, guard Snell, I think. Okay. Well, I need. Yeah, I need everybody to make me a perception check. Oh, thank God. No! You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to add a plus five to our thing. Okay. Nice. Nice. No. Nice. Let's see here. I looked with my special okay. eyes. 14, 21, and 11. So, 
Uh, I also need, hold on one second. Um, that little oh, dummy. Oh, yeah, yeah does Benoit want to come? <laughs> does Benoit want to give me yeah. the help action or do it herself? <laughs> go ahead and give yourself the, well, yeah, go ahead and give yourself the, uh, give it. Cool. I mean, I'll, I'll, if, she, if she wants to do her own roll, that's fine. No, that's that's fine. Uh, go ahead and re-roll. Okay. okay. <laughs> one, one more. <laughs> Thanks, Ben Ma. Okay. So, with a 12, everybody sees them. Oh, As what? everyone... <clears throat> is searching throughout this room. You notice that on the table, a few large covered steins dripping with condensation. Oh, shit. I need everybody to make me a wisdom save. Oh, boy. I think this is my last one, but I'm going to do it again. Is this magic? Can I get angry about the fact that you're making me roll? Oh, yeah. This is this magic? <laughs> no. Can I ra- <laughs> This is this magic, shot. yes. Oh, Perfect. please be a DC 14 wisdom save. <laughs> oh. DC, DC's probably not very high. It's fine. It's going to be okay. Oh. That's not what it's I probably like a. It's probably like a 12 or something. Oh, and that was with advantage. Okay. Cat, you need to leave me alone. Okay, so that was a 12 for Benoit, uh, a 16 for Flanagan, a Sunel is a 17. Okay, so Sunel and Flanagan. No. You guys um, <clears throat> have this momentary reaction. Oh. Look at you, dummy. <laughs> yes, dummy. But you have this momentary urge to to go over and grab one of these drinks. Mm-hmm. Attila and Benoit. Oh. Both of you cannot oh, help yourself. Just want to shoot it. We're not doing this again. As you're compelled you grab one of these steins and just eh, what could possibly go wrong and you take a sip the mm, beer yeah. is delicious absolutely Refreshing. you know for both of you but it feels as as you take this sip this this stein feels so heavy in your hand it physically even with even with your um, even with your enhance ability, it is attempting to drag you to the table. You feel your arm chunk, just stuck oh. to the table, and it's pulling you. I need you and Benoit, so I will roll that for Benoit. Um, let's see. I want to shoot that fucking mug. Uh, it. As well, let's hold on. So, um, even with your enhanced ability, you are dragged to the table and shoved roughly against it. Same with Benoit. Um, you both, Sunel and uh, Flanagan, both see and hear this. I don't know what's going on. It was good, though. It was was some crisp ass sprite. Trying to shoot the mugs. I hate these mugs. You're shooting the mugs out of their hands or trying to? Yeah, let's do some fucking Texas Ranger bullshit. I figured you were doing something like dispel magic, but okay. I don't have any, I don't get that spell for one. I I don't have any spells. By the power of Adelir. I pray yeah, upon him well, to, to dispel I, this uh, this magic. Do I even ever get dispel? Because that might be a third level spell, which means I don't get it until level nine. So um, you're trying to shoot this stein. Um, go ahead and rake me an attack roll because you're trying to shoot something out of somebody's hand. Oh no! 
I'm gonna shoot you instead, and you're gonna fucking feel it. Now, if it, is it if it's below my AC? Does it does it hit the mug instead? <laughs> Big fucking money, <laughs> dead eye. You can sh you can shoot and hit one. Which one? Benoit. Yeah, Benoit's. We're gonna draw flip. You know, it's high noon. And because you you're using a magic weapon for this, you hit it, and it punches in one side of the stein and out the other. And it starts pouring vol voluminous amounts of ale. Um, almost as if you've shot a barrel of it. And it just starts to pour and continues to pour all over the table. And the all over the table and the uh, in the floor. I need. Attila to make me. A strength check if he wants to you not um, drink. Yeah, it a strength uh, check if you want me to if you want to pry yourself away from this mug. All right. Benoit is going to have to as well, but there is no longer well any beer in hers. You have it. You know, I'm gonna too. I'm gonna. I'm gonna rip the handle out this mug. That's how I, I know this is gonna be a, a straight. It'll be athletics. Right so let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I almost saw that twenty. You do have advantage. You could crit fish. You do have advantage. Okay, but nope. So you rolled twice, and it's a twenty. It was twenty-four both times. Okay. Oh, that's wild. Well, uh, Benoit had advantage on hers, and her first roll was a 19, and yours is a 24. So, with the sound of this shot, you are able to physically pry yourself off of the oh. table and away from this beer stein. That was not worth it. Don't drink that. Don't do it. You don't say. Why does no one moment, ever when I say don't drink strange things you find inside of a dungeon? It looks good. It compelled me. Did you not see the condensation? Oh, that's how Gideon got a demon. For a moment, these beer steins, and you see there are two more sitting on the table. There are actually a lot more than two more. But for a moment, the one that was in Attila's hand triples in size. Oh, Jesus. And then it shrinks back to normal. Is there, right. a beer, is there a beer stein in the hand of all of the skeletons, I'm guessing? Hey, uh, you, didn't need to be, you didn't need me to tell you that. <laughs> all right, I think... Um, well, I, I, think... Guess, I, I guess we found out what happened to him. All right, well, let's get out of here before he tries to do it again. Yeah. 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 No. Um, now that the excitement has passed, um, as you guys start looking over the room with eye, you know, with fresh eyes, all of the papers, the books sitting here on the table, they look like they have been ruined by acid damage. There are, uh, there is nothing to be gleaned here. However, the mural on the other, on the wall, Sunel, you notice. There's a very familiar symbol on the wall. Is this the, uh, the teleportation rune? It is not. Aww. Aww. There is the symbol mm -hmm. of House Adagi on the wall. Are those more snake people? Or isn't that your so, friends? The last time House Adagi has been mentioned was the prison. Oh. The prison under Astra's place? Yeah. No. Oh. The prison where Flanagan and ha but where Flanagan had to hmm. help put away Ma and Pastra. 
how how big of a mural is this? It spans the entire length of the wall. Oh, jeez. Mm. And this symbol was right in the center of this mural. And it is pretty much the only thing left intact. So now we'll approach and try and take this part of the mural. Pull out your knife and you start cutting away at it. And it, it, the mural just kind of crumbles under your hand. You're able to you're able to cut it out, mm-hmm. but the rest of the mural just falls apart. Does there seem to be anything special about the symbol? Like, is it inked in a special ink or anything? It's uh, not. So it is too old for iridescent dye. Um, it is much older than the past hundred years. Okay. But it is okay. purple. Hmm. Which you would know is not an easy dye to come by. No, so this was obviously something expensive. Very much so. Is there anything on the other side of the, like, pulling this part down, was it covering anything on the wall? Just a blank section of wall. Hmm. That's Aradashi. Hmm? So now we'll oh. fold this up and tuck it I'm, away. I'm just thinking about it. I, is, I don't remember what was mentioned. About, the... about House Adashi? Yeah. Um, so I I can <laughs> little flashback. Uh you <laughs> flash back to uh that moment in the post uh, post fight with uh, uh disc- talking with Misfit. And he mentioned gotcha. that once upon a time before the last calamity, this prison was run by House Adashi. They kept all sorts of, uh, well, uh, threats, evils locked away there. Oh, okay. So, wow. the, the, so, it's, so Adagi built this prison to keep that vampire guy down here? Beautiful. Or it was a prison for something else and it got used after Instead. House Adagi was gone. Huh. Okay. Did we got the the mural? Is there a way to continue onward? There is. There is a door at the other end of the room. You know we have okay. to do. To what do we forward. have to do? <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna offer. That that's kind of what I was thinking. Um. But good, good thinking, Flanagan. Over again. <laughs> Bust my shoulder right. up and go to the next door with the quickness. Yep, scoop up Lotus. Okay. Luckily, being unconscious has the virtue of not having to make saves. <laughs> yeah, all right, thank God. You can't drink the beer if you can't see the beer. If they said they wanted the beer, but then they fell asleep, don't pour the beer down their throats. They're asleep. They don't want beer. Are you sure? Yes. Hey, you don't know that. Okay. If they said that they wanted the beer, and then later, when you made the beer and gave it to them, they say they don't want it, don't give them the beer. Oh, okay. I thought we were supposed to... Never mind. Okay. Now, opening this uh, door into the next room, you're looking at, well, a couple things. Uh, On one side of the room, uh, there is a desk, a chair, and shelving. It looks like once upon a time, this place was, I mean, a finely furnished office. There's more moldering carpet on the floor. 
Um, instead of like s stone walls covered in murals, this place looks like it was wallpapered once upon a time. Hmm. In addition, there's uh, on this desk, um, it looks like, well, the shelving has been torn apart. Um, papers strewn about all over the table and floor. Um, in the chair, there are deep claw marks raking through the cushions. Yeah. It looks like this place has been torn apart by a whirlwind. Recently? But that's... What's that? Recently? It's all covered in dust from ages long past. Whatever it was, it, has, it was not recent. Now, the thing that really catches your attention is on the other side of this desk behind it is a door. But it's not a door like you've ever seen. It's covered in glowing glyphs, not unlike the ones that adorn Maddie. In the center of this door has a glowing red sigil. Kind of like an eye. Is it the, isn't that the sigil that we saw on all of the markers that marked the border of Beacon? It's the same color, yes. Different design. Okay, okay, different design. I just remember the red. Um, no, you're good. And it's not what everybody teleportation sees. rune. No. I don't ah, know. This, this if this was a prison, does this look like it was maybe the warden's office? Yeah, that'd be a good way to put it. But this thick, heavy door behind the warden's office is very unusual. Um, Why would you have the warden's office right outside the cell? Um, it's I, a little I, too I, nice to be a prisoner's room. I say, I guess we open it, right? I think we have to. I don't, I don't see any other way out. Um, can I ask you all a question? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yes, can yeah. I know. <laughs> That's a good question, Zappa. This this little dingus. A little oh. dump a little stinky dummy. You're so cute, but I'm busy right now. Okay. Little fucking idiot. <laughs> um back when we got separated, what did you guys what did you guys see? Not this, if that's what you're asking. No, I'm just... Why, Benoit? I mean, I'll be happy to tell you, but... Does it matter now? You're right, I guess it doesn't matter. Not I mean... Moment. What... I guess, what was your thought process? Is just trying to know, or is there something that brought it on? I, um... Uh... I saw Gideon, and um, she shakes her head. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to think about it. Um, let's go. I'm just gonna say, uh, whatever you saw, it doesn't matter. It feeds on our own self doubts. Pain. He made. He made you see what you what you least want to see, most likely. That's right. What? <sighs> it echoes throughout this room. I, did I'll it come from Ben I, I will shoot Sam. No, it's not coming out of Ben no. Okay, I was, I was terrified. <laughs> it Imposter. echoes throughout this room. I'm sorry, I was indisposed for a moment. But it's good to see you making progress. Please don't mind me. Continue your investigation, amateur detectives. Better an amateur detective than a 
washed up murderer. Come on, show yourself and let's just get this over with, all right? Mano y mano. No, no. Right now. I am I am currently far away from your location. But that doesn't bother me. I can see whenever and wherever I so choose. I punch the eye. <laughs> you walk over to the eye and punch it. It is oh. solid stone. Oh, fuck! I thought that would hurt him! He's like, oh! <laughs> oh. You are lucky that you did not punch any harder. Otherwise, I am not so sure your bones would have been able to withstand it. Damn. So you can see everything we're doing right now? Anywhere that is my home. Can you see what I'm <laughs> doing right now? That is not very polite to your guest, to your host, is it? Hosts are supposed to be the ones that provide courtesy. Guests can do whatever they want. I'm opening the door. <laughs> Don't do it. Well, of course. I'm allowing you into my mind, am I not? How hmm, how Why similar is this call? to when uh yeah, how how similar is this to when I was in uh Deidre's Mind Palace? It is not at all like that. It if you want to insight it, you absolutely can. Um, yeah, let's is is he is he bluffing? Is he bullshitting me? Am I being lied to? Can I, can I insight that as well? I don't know. <laughs> Anybody is free to people. insight that. Right, exactly. Flanagan, you want to insight that? <laughs> Why not? I don't know shit about nothing. I read people <laughs> like a book. Hold up. That, that one's not real. Oh, God damn. Oh my you fucking got God. Me Flanagan. <laughs> All right, no, no, no. Flanagan rolled with advantage on accident. The first one. Needs See, to when you wear your emotions on your sleeve, Sunel, you're able to just really, really, you know, read people. This sounds like fucking nerd talk for not my problem. <laughs> Seven is real. Attila. Um. He's toying with you guys. He has this entire time. Yeah, I'm. I think I, I would just open the door. I think I would just like grunt and just. The door just... has no handle. Make a handle. Yes. Fuck. Give me enough time and I can. Well, is there. <laughs> this is like an office, you said, right? It is. It's very much like an office, yes. Okay. I'm going through. Desks, you know, open ca yeah. like cabinets, whatever I can to fucking see if there's. A, do I attach a handle to this door? It will come open, you know, something like that. Well, while Attila's <laughs> doing this, Snow, they're looking around and like, uh, what is your hatred for upholstery? What did this chair ever do to you? <laughs> oh, that was not me. That was the pets that you so cruelly slaughtered. The only thing that was getting slaughtered by pets was you and the snakes. Hmm. Yes, I do happen to have a penchant. I do happen to enjoy a good illusion, yes? Don't worry. You'll be dealing with more snakes soon enough. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. But I would like to continue that discussion you were having, Benoit, as you're going through these desks, uh, Attila. Um, you're doing that. Sunel, what are you doing? Hmm? Trying to think. Uh, I I got next to nothing. Uh, I'm gonna look at all the is a lot of the stuff that uh, Marshawn had wasn't his. The stuff that he had on him, like the dagger, was that right. cigar lighter his? No, that looks like it was also some... You imagine... That is that is an unfamiliar device to you. Also Does it have me. any markings on it? 
So, uh, it has, as you, it's basically got a little lid on the top. And as you open that, you see kind of like a spout, like you would for where the flame on a lighter would come out. It's got a plunger and a roller, exactly like a, uh, it's a Zippo lighter. Pretty much, yeah. But like, because a lot of Zippo lighters, not on the cap, but on like the body, they'll have like etchings or iconography or stuff like that. Smooth and silver. Mm -hmm. It looks like it was made for practicality, not necessarily anything um, style related. Flanagan, what are you doing? What is Flanagan doing? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Flexing, doing push-ups. I mean, Flanagan's uh, not doing anything, huh? Flanagan, I mean, Flanagan, come, come help me look through this shit. All right, I, come on. You what? It's a little bit. You're the leader. Get your off. Get off your ass and be useful as one, right? That you say you're the leader. I know. I was thinking, like, as the leader, that I could just like tell you guys what to do, and then I get over here. You better listen. <laughs> he's gonna get some. He's going to get his fur up if you're not careful. <laughs> what happens if I, uh, you know, light the lighter? Do I explode? The only so. Way to find is... out. While you're doing that, um, real fast, we're going to cut uh, Attila real fast. You're looking at Flanagan. And you you probably slam your fist on the table. You know, Get over here. And you hear something thunk. Wait, I, yeah, I just go, get over here. And I hit it and I'm like. <laughs> I like <laughs> I hope I I opened uh, a drawer or something the so drawer like some fall out has <laughs> the drawer that you've pulled out has a false bottom I yeah I just I lift it up and I'm like yeah what what's in there there's a journal oh wait I it's I found something spoiled by the fog. Brand new. Damn near. To pull it open, or pull it out, you see it's locked with an interesting mechanism. It has... It, the clasp seems to be connected to a disc-shaped indentation in the center of the journal. Didn't we... F did we find something? Like a, Maybe. A gem? Did you? Do you I, 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 uh, yeah, I, I just turn over the journal and I show it to you guys and like, do we have it, something that fits this? Uh, Was it something we found in the room with like, to the remember. doll? Or is Your this pocket is warm? Ooh. Oh, is this something that we put the whose whose pocket's warm? Attila's pocket is warm. Oh, Ooh. I uh, I take the necklace out of my pocket. It's glowing. <sighs> Cat, you need to stop that. Is it, is it hot to the touch? If I <laughs> almost, it is very warm. I. Bring it to the book. As you slot this medallion into the indentation, two things happen. One, Sunel, you've been looking at this lighter, and you click it. And you explode. Everyone's dead. All of the glyphs on the door go out. Ooh. It is almost as if, it's, as if all of it has been pulled out in these arcs of light into this silver cigar 
uh, cigar lighter. <laughs> Snell sees this. Holds Did you it just up where it can be seen and go? You got your magic, bitch. Maddie is also turned off again. Crap. <laughs> is this like the the Harry Potter light store? <laughs> can you release the energy? And there is now a new crystal sticking out of the bottom of this lighter. Oh, the just door like depowered opens. Well, now I have no light to read this journal. <laughs> and um, yeah, by the way, uh, the, the journal is now open, Flanagan. Your your excellent leadership capabilities have, um, <laughs> you know taking care of the situation once again. Thanks for pissing me off, Flanagan. I appreciate that. Don't mind me. I'm just making the best calls. I think we're great <laughs> to we are. No. I'm the glue that keeps this fraction team together. <laughs> yeah, we well, um, have shit, but not is, more am, am I able you to... Would, you do have lighting, because there is lighting coming through the chamber that was just opened. Red lighting. All right. Um. I'll while while like opening it up and reading it, like I'll just like turn to the page. I'll start walking towards um the door, <laughs> like like reading a comic book and walking. <laughs> Let's go with I, with the lotus over ready. your shoulder this entire time. Okay. Yeah. You know what? You're right. You're right. Uh. I'll, no, I'll, I'll you, give... you can do that. One hand. Okay, okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I'm trying. You my can. Best. I'm just I'm just keeping in mind how yeah, you've got a lotus on your shoulder. <laughs> That's right. Turning the pages of um, It becomes pretty apparent. Um, it's going to be a little hard to read this because it's in some sort of cipher. Uh, but first, Sunel. Sunel. All right. This door is open. And it is a sm- uh, this room is probably 20 by 20 with a 10 foot ceiling. Yeah, pretty big. And sitting dead center in the middle of this room is that same device you saw this vampire in. The Cenobite chair? Uh, this no, this torture device I talked about last week. Yeah, because it, it was like a chair he was in. Uh, yeah, kind of. I think I just I think I uh, mentioned it it's like a to rack, be closer right? to like a board. Yeah, uh, like like a rack, similar to a rack. Yeah, gotcha. Um, with all sorts of spikes and spines and uh, sharp objects. We have such things to show you. Uh, and but... I to show you. Oh no, that's a uh, that was me out of character referencing. Oh, gotcha. Hellraiser. <laughs> <laughs> so it's sights to show you. So in this room, it's just the rack, the the torture rack. In the center of this room, yes, at least on first glance. Uh, once we're all in, what happens when I turn the light off on the light? It's all, or, no, I have a So crystal. this is the similar thing you had happen last time. Yeah. As you click it, nothing happens. What happens if I just... If I break the crystal, is that going to be a fucky-wucky in the sense of I can't fix Maddie? Remember how you fixed Maddie last time. That's yeah, exactly I what you had in. to do. So, yeah, we'll do that. We'll take the crystal. crystal into her power center or whatever. Right. And Maddie springs to life. We're rich! Uh-huh. Um, I don't feel very rich, Maddie, <laughs> says Benoit. Yeah, I, I don't have any money at all. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm balling. I'm um I guess um, I'll go up to the rack and just investigate it if there's nothing in it. Okay. 
yeah no you can absolutely do that um every it, if you want to do that make me a perception check meanwhile um you're probably Never. gonna get um did we ever get this person's name yo yo count dracula what's your fucking name <laughs> vampiric parasitic garbage I banish you. You're exercised. Because I don't think it's very fair that he can just read the entirety of our minds and then we don't even get to know a name. If he's reading the entirety of my mind, then he's going to find that I am a very rude person right now. Killing your own brother does imply certain things. Yeah, and I'm going to do double to you, and there won't even be a pyre for your remains. Damn. Mm. I'm going to use the so dust that you turn into a vampire to make a nice chain. Or mm. perhaps, since you're always in our minds, maybe I'll use it to make a circlet of non-detection. Patent pending. <laughs> a circlet of what? In the way. You asked my name. You have been kind enough guests. Maybe I'll tell you. And then says nothing. Now, Are you serious, this, this torture device, it's just as cruel and unusual as uh, you've, you've seen last time. Um probably more interesting is the evidence of struggle in other sections of the room um, on the floor um, are dark spots reminiscent of blood probably but centuries old almost non-existent you can't see it anymore as you guys are looking throughout this room, Maddie pops back to life. Benoit, Flanagan, are you still um, it, it, hoping others find do things for you? Yeah, um, I'm the greatest. Uh, well, and I'm 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 investigating around. I mean, if we're just in these little rooms and Flanagan's gotcha. New... See, don't fuck with this magic so, shit. gotcha. Everybody else can make me a perception check if you so choose. We did my god dang darndest. You're good. <laughs> it wasn't good enough. Hey man, you were mad. No one could ask for more than your best. Except for me, I want your absolute best. Hmm. Shut up, Flanagan. <laughs> Attila and Sonel. Word? As you guys are looking around this room, you both spotted at the same time. Attila, you've seen this before. As a matter of fact, just a few rooms ago. There's a section of wall that's different from the others. Ah, uh, another magic, magic door, eh? Magic wall. Magic walls. Let's send Maddie in first. Do it. You send Go for Maddie it. towards the wall. She disappears through it. I ah, swear to God. Good. Sending the little mechanicling first to avoid injuring yourselves, yes? Is this is this gonna be more water? Could you really start to piss me off, man? <laughs> to avoid injuring yourself. You know I could turn this entire room into water if I so chose. Or Swiss cheese, maybe. Please don't. I could turn your uh, friend Flanagan into Swiss cheese. There's no Please do. Know. Then at least he'll be useful. Whoa. Whoa. No, don't. Hey, let's just go. Come on. Hey, through the wall. Um, what? <laughs> We're never going to get an opportunity like this again. And... It's at that moment, you just say, let's just go through the wall. Um, this, this illusion itself drops. 
You seem to be frustrated. Allow me to help. And this illusion drops. And on the other side of it, you see Maddie standing in front, in front of some, this elevator, recessed into the wall. It looks to be made of sturdy brass and steel. Hey, <laughs> uh, does it go up now, or does it go down? Attila. I'm, oh, it definitely goes one of those directions. Um, but, Attila, right. you had finished, almost, you had finished flipping through this journal, and most of it is in a cipher, yes, which is something you'll need Sunel for. But there is one entry made in English, or common. It simply reads in a hastily scribbled scrawl. It was a lie. He, no, no, it escaped from its restraints. We've sealed the room and started adding fog to the chamber. With luck, we'll smoke the damn monster out. We open the chamber tomorrow morning. LT. LT. So we have to survive this for a night? I didn't hear he's, uh... I know, my mic is goofy. Sorry. I am... Um, I think, um... I see that, and I, I think I would honestly just go over to Sunel and hand him the journal, and like, what do you... What do you make of this? You're better at this than I am. Hmm. Sunel, as you're looking at it... Um, it's open to the last page, the last written in page, and it is common, and that's what it says. And the rest of it, um, it's uh, on some examination, on certain, on first examination, yeah, it's a, it's a cipher of some sort, an old cipher, one that's going to take a little bit of time to decipher to ha ha an old cipher that'll take time to decipher ha 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 anyway you said old cipher and i was like like a cesarean cipher no like an actual cipher cipher hmm. you're gonna have to find the key or you know take some time to run through some keys do some uh decrypting but the 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 in the signage on the last page was LT. Yes. Good mean lieutenant. Read it. Read it to me one more time, if you wouldn't mind. It was a lie. He no. It escaped from its restraints. We've sealed the room and started adding fog to the chamber. With luck, we'll smoke the damn monster out. We'll open the chamber tomorrow tomorrow morning. LT. Yeah. I feel like there's something I feel like there's uh, there's something much bigger than than this vampire. Really? Oh, uh, I, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll ask uh, I guess I'll ask her. You weren't the only one locked down here, were you? <laughs> How astute of you. Why would someone, <laughs> that's waste... All he Ooh, says. That's, that's Why would someone waste the effort to construct such an elaborate prison for a common garden variety vampire? Common garden variety? Oh, you mean to test my ire? Balthazar is no common vampire. Balthazar is also a mouthy fool who just gave us their name. That was intentional. You could be lying. As what was are me you going to do with my fool. name? Balthazar, destroyer of House Adagi. <laughs> Balthazar, <laughs> Balthazar, the conqueror of the upper caste. 
Balthazar, the creator of these caverns. Balthazar, Once the upon one a time. that got beaten up by their own magic daughter. <laughs> For a time, she ruled at my side, yes. For a time. Eventually, things changed. It's hard to take it when somebody you care for falls out of love, yes? But that's okay. I have returned. And I mean to make my mark on this world once again. Oh, you will. Okay, um... I, have we we have we gone through the through the illusionary wall yet? We're yeah, we're the illusionary wall elevator. has dropped. There is the okay. elevator sitting right there. This sturdy that's right, elevator. That's right. Yeah, looking into the elevator, what does uh, uh like? It would have to have like a padding or something to be like. This is how you operate it. Does it seem like it goes up or down? Well, that's what I was gonna. Go. I was gonna get in the elevator and see if there was any right switch. Um. You're just gonna get. You guys are just gonna get in the elevator. Well, I'd like to just check it uh, out before we get into it in case it's a trap. Okay. So, are you looking for a? Are you looking for instructions or are you looking for traps? Uh, instructions. Okay. The traps will find themselves in this case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, Snell just wants out of this fucking nightmare hole. <laughs> Fair enough. Perfect. You step in, it is easy enough to find the instructions. It is it is as simple as a lever. Does lever go up? Lever does go up. Huh. Lever also goes down. Uh, oh, well, okay. Right now, I think our focus is getting back to the surface, and up is that way, so... This is true. So... Or... It can I, easily fit the four of you. I I don't see why we would go down. Unless it was some, some find way to some... get back to that, uh, that uh, fork in the road. What is everybody's passive perception? I just need to know for a moment. 17. Um, I have a 14. Okay. I heard a 17? Yes. Okay, 17. There's something slightly odd about this. There are ropes attached to the sides of the elevator on the inside that are sitting there dangling. Do you... They're new. Have you guys see these ropes? Just... What the hell? <laughs> Don't pull them. No, yeah, you, yep, nope. Nope, don't pull. I mean, so you probably make that that first tug. They're solid. There's not attached to anything. They're solid. Damn. So the elevator doesn't work. You haven't tried it yet. You don't know. But those ropes, you know, are attached to the elevator. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, well, everyone hop in and let's pray that uh, Adelaide doesn't take us today, right? And every day. Hmm. Let us pray. We're going on a personnel. Get in. DOG does not like the elevator. Okay. <laughs> prayer, but I'm not taking just, part. just letting Flanagan. Yeah. Just letting Flanagan know. DOG does not like the elevator. Don't be such a wimp, DOG. <laughs> she immediately stops panting and just like looks over her shoulder at you like, really? <laughs> DOG, stop being such a bitch. Oh. You're a grown woman. Don't be afraid. It's an elevator. We're vibing. All right. Um, <laughs> I. Is Snell, are you getting in there? Yeah, Snell's in. Snell was in okay, there. Okay. Okay. I'm going a, I'm to a flip the switch. Flip, flip. Yeah, you push the lever into the, the marked up position. Oh god, oh god. And the elevator Ad begins to Adelaide move Adelaide. upwards. Great. 
Wonderful. It's trundling upwards. It's like a freight elevator. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it is moving at a decent clip. God, how old do you think this elevator is? Please hold. Oh, older than fancy pants. Is it? Oh, hell no. You enjoy your trip to the surface. I will see you soon. God, I hope everyone's all right. Well, I hope that I hope that uh, bullets count as staking. <laughs> you've got you guys have about five minutes to get to the surface. What are you guys doing in that time? Uh, Dioji hits the fucking double time sprint mo shit. <laughs> 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 Middle of some calibrations. I honestly think that uh, in this moment, yeah, I, I would be praying to, to Adelir because I know that we're, whatever threat we're about to face is on the surface, and I, I really just hope that if people are fighting or my comrades are fighting, that he can give them the strength to do so, and that no one has died. And if they did, then they died with honor. Please. <laughs> <laughs> and please bless us so that way we don't die to this vampire douchebag. <laughs> please, this vampire douchebag. <laughs> please just don't let me die to vampires. I'll never <laughs> live it down. Please don't let me die to vampires. I'll never leave it, live it down. As about three quarters of the way up, you guys hear. Um. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to think of how how to say this. Um, Very good. Passengers detected. Oh. Requesting authentication. What? Crap. Oh my god. That's, that doesn't sound like the vampire. Please state the password. Hey, yo, fuck you. <laughs> hey, yo, there... fuck you is not the password. Was there anything in the journal that stuck out as a password. You better start deciphering. Mm. I was going to say, what's uh, what's your passive investigation? 18. Let's see here. Pretty oh, investigative. If we were one level higher, it could be a 26 bank. Right something dumb with observant <laughs> let's see i just realized i was looking at the wrong place for it let's see here as you rack your brain you oh. think um there's nothing in this letter that might be useful but Maybe the name of of the people who ran it could be useful. So that would be House Adashi. Okay, is that something you say out loud? Yeah, so now we'll try House Adashi. Let's go. Password verified. And you feel this rumbling that had been in the uh this part of the rumbling that had been in this uh elevator stop the elevator is still moving but it is a significantly smoother ride okay. and i think okay. benoit looks at the floor and goes was that something spinning underneath our feet that just stopped don't think about it. You'll be a lot happier and a lot healthier. Yeah, everybody, let's, uh, let's just, she, you know, talks on the podcast. She looks at each of you and then looks at the ropes on the walls and goes, Oh, I think I know what the ropes were for. Snell slowly nods, having gone back to working on the gauntlet. And at that moment, the elevator begins to slow and stop 
and the doors open. Please have a pleasant stay. Yeah, I sprint. As the door, <laughs> you sprint out into, into the lighthouse. Oh, the cracked sigil is still on the floor with the with the weight from the ceiling uh, s- sitting on the outer edge of it. Spot the, of the floor. Spot we unlocked the shortcut. On the floor is still there. <laughs> and as you turn around, you realize that this you you never would have found this otherwise. But this elevator is built seamlessly into the wall. Of this lighthouse. Something different to you, Sunel, um, having been in here before. You hear the grinding of gears. And the the rotating of the lighthouse. Yeah, looking up, is the light on? The light is on, and it's rotating. I... I want to run outside of the lighthouse and look up at it, just like in the general vicinity. You rush outside, and the first thing you notice, because you don't have you, your eyes have to adjust. It is daylight out here. The sun. The you sun. Look out from the top of this location. You look out from the top of this location, and you see this sea of fog surrounding the city. But it's no longer covering and enshrouding it. From the top of this hill, you can see miles of fog, just like an ocean. An ocean, you know, just just like an ocean of fog. But the sky, the sky is clear without a cloud in sight. Wow, you've been praying to Adelir this whole time, but it looks more like Terrell was on our side. Be lamp. Hey, Terrell never brought me back from the dead. It's so... Look at the town! And as she directs your attention down, the buildings? Well, the buildings don't look run down anymore. It... It looks almost like a, a perfect little village ensconced in the middle of this valley. Brightly painted houses, well kempt lawns. I uh, it's the trees um, that were dead have sprung back to life, uh, covered in their springtime glory. The rooftop gardens from these places have begun to overgrow, and uh, you know just cover the roofs of these houses. The library no longer looks dreary and downtrodden. It looks almost regal. Hmm. This place has gotten a makeover in, I mean, the time it's taken you guys to go down there and come back up. This is nice, but what about everyone else and i'll just i'll just start taking off to the center yeah of the town, you just honestly. take off down the it's hill it's just like look the the town it's changed as so now like uh, reaches uh, down and like yeah. gets her by like one of the hands to tug her along as they just start running it. and it was like we can think of we we can pat ourselves on the back later right now let's make sure that everyone still has all of their vital fluids where they belong flanning and going along you're darn tootin i am <laughs> It. You guys rush down the mountainside, Snow and as like a, dragging a child along, right, on, right. She's doing her best to keep up, but you're fast. And um, and until it looks you... like they're trying to get away with something sketchy, with the <laughs> yeah, I got, I got a person over their shoulder. Yes, <laughs> draped over their shoulder. But as you. Um, head, yeah, as you make your way down down the hillside, you do get a chance to finally see uh, Attila, the light, as the, this bright white light slowly circling. And it seems to, wherever it points, it's almost as if it, the fog disappears. 
heading down this cliff, you can see that where you guys had originally entered the uh, originally entered the room, sorry, the uh, caverns is now completely covered in fog, almost as if it is slowly draining into it. Uh, whoops. Oh, oh, uh, gonna suck to suck for so, uh, what's their name for what? brother and sister Sage? Fuck. Sage and Dahlia? And, uh, Dahlia it's gonna suck to suck for them who knows I hope they got out I mean we don't know that but I hope they did yeah Here, it's like out know. of character I'm just gonna or, say Rip Bozo I haven't modified the map, so it's still a little dark. Um, but as you make your way down the hillside, um, rushing straight into the center of camp, you see, I mean, everybody is out enjoying the sun. There are smiles. There is happy. You know, there's there's smiles. There's food. Um, there's a fire going. Everybody is talking and laughing. And having yeah. a great time. I'm gonna interrupt that shit. <laughs> Wholeheartedly, I'm gonna interrupt. Vampires. That. I run okay. up with a with the lotus on my on my shoulder. Who who's all there? And the, uh, who's at this fire? <laughs> Who are you looking for? Because it's a it's a mix of expedition people, townsfolk. If you're looking for someone in specific, okay. they're probably okay. here. First yeah, thing, I'm okay, okay. Here. Who is um, the most medically capable, I suppose. Like, I, I guess, um, Eris I know has lay on hands, so I think I would go to her. Honestly. You see Eris, and you rush over to her, and it. Hey, <laughs> about up, hey, Aris. about. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not, Whoa, none of that matters right on? now. Listen, I, I, Lotus is passed out. I don't know what's wrong with her. Can you? I know you okay, have a um, way with. Bring her over here, and right. uh. She's like, um, weather show, weather show. And she starts heading towards Lotus's weather show. Um, and then second thing, we awaken something down there. Something down there was trapped and it, it's it's coming up. Vampire. What? The vampire. Balthazar, vampire? I think. Balthazar. Has to do with Astra. We got to we got to ask some questions to October and Astra real quick. Astra's fire. Um, and as you guys uh, make your way into the weather show, um, the you know you push the the tent aside, and um, probably actually sitting out front of the weather show are Sachiko and Deidre and Gwen too, and they see this and um, what happened? Is, is she okay? And it's I don't know. We're about to find out. And she motions for you to put her in the weather show. Question. In yes. reference to the opening to this, are there two little ass hats that are trying to steal our shit right now? Because <laughs> I will say, oh, we have our shit in a chest that I have cast arcane lock on. Oh, not not your shit in the pejorative sense, your shit in the personal sense. Just why so, it's all in a dress that's got arcane uh, lock on it. If you spend if you spend some time going through your stuff, or you're gonna have to go back to your tent before you figure that out. All right. So we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. But you uh, put Lotus down on this bed. Her breathing is steady, but there's no response. And Eris um, is. Oh, What's go that? ahead. Go ahead. Eris is checking Lotus over, and she's like, "I don't. Um, I don't. What happened? Listen, I don't. A lot happened down there. Um, all I know is that once we activated the lighthouse, which is that a whole other guys? thing. I, yes, what am I saying? Us. Of course, it's you guys." <laughs> Once we activated the lighthouse, Lotus passed out, and I've, she's been on my shoulder ever since. As far as I was able to tell, she was stable. Well, except for that moment where you put her on the floor next to all of the hot copper pipes. Look, she's fine, okay? Just a couple burns. 
All right. I mean, she's like, I can't. You see her try and cast lay on hands. And I, it changes you're, nothing. You were just the first she's person like, I thought of. Maybe there's someone else, but. Let, let, okay. Yeah. Calm down. Uh, she probably, uh, you were probably followed in. This place is probably pretty fucking crowded because there is Dolly, uh, not Dahlia. There's Deidre. There's uh, Sachiko. There's Gwen. They're like, we can handle Lotus. It sounds right. like you, you need to go talk probably to Bob first, maybe, or Astra or, or somebody, because if there is something headed towards the surface, we need to know about it. Did I'm Sage and Dahlia Astra. make it back? Make it back. back. What do you mean? Define make it back. They were here the whole time. Uh, I think Deidre goes. They went into the mines after you guys. You never. Absolute never idiots. They went into the mines after us? Ooh. Y yes. Yikes. That's where all the fog's been going. We haven't seen the them fog. down there. What are you talking? Just slowly turn. Like, Deidre turns pale. Slowly turns to Sachiko and goes, I, I, uh, we need to, we need, Sachiko, like, grabs Deidre's hand and makes to head toward, uh, to head out of the weather show. Oh my You're god. You're not going to be able to. In there. If, if. Oh my god, if if for some reason they're dead, Lotus is gonna blame the shit out of herself. Oh! Oh. Oh no. Alright, um, I guess her bear, I, I guess I'll say, um Oh no, that's Okay, well hopefully we'll be able to find them. I hope they're okay, but listen, whatever, we need to gather up anyone who can fight I'm going to go talk to Bob. I'm going to go and talk to Astra. Remember, Balthazar wants revenge on Astra. Flanagan, you're in here, right? Yes. I invented here. Okay. You invented here. Okay. But, uh... You, you vented hear, in uh, here? I don't with my you hear... Hands. Flanagan? Flanagan? Are, are you... Flanagan? Flanagan? There's what? a voice outside the tent. All right, it's, it's uh, hey, yeah, it's 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 Grelka. Oh, thank God you're here. I was I was worried with the fog and everything else, and the you are you guys okay? I mean, no, yeah, we're uh, we're not okay. Not Out of the way, <laughs> vampires. Mean, mean, meanwhile, Eris is like, go on. I, I, we need to. I will take care of this. And Gwen is like, I'll stay here, I suppose. Um, it's, I was actually it's this huge. There's this flurry of nervous activity around all of you guys. I just want to say, uh, I was just going to be like, all right. Um, so let's go and Deidre. I think you guys got Lotus. Eris, are you able to gather up anyone that can fight? I'm going to go talk to Bob. Gwen's like, I can do that. Eris should probably keep an eye on. Okay, perfect. Lotus. Get everyone that's a that can fight, meet back up at the fire. I suppose. I don't know when or where the this thing guy vampire is coming from, or he's able to talk into our minds and it's awful. I'm Girl, because just kind of shaking her head, like, "What are you talking about?" It's like, no, no, it's just. I, 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 I need to go talk fast. to Bob. I'm just gonna <laughs> walk out. Okay, so where is we real fast? So Sunel is headed towards Astra. Astra, Attila is headed towards Bob. Flanagan is headed where? If he's headed anywhere. Flanagan. Mm hmm. No, I mean, I think he's kicking it with young Groka. <laughs> young Groka. Young Groka. Yeah, you know what's and like. Groka is just like, eh. actually, hey, um, oh, you're getting, it's, 
almost... She has this worried look on her not face. No. <laughs> she is she acting, draws this back how do I put this? Memory. How do I put this without Mr. Angry Eyes? No. The way that she is not doting or fawn or fawning, but kind of like smothering you. Fretting? Like mother henning. Fretting is a good way of putting it. It's an awful lot like um your little time by yourself in the caves. Quick killer. <laughs> She she's basic she's led you two over to the fire. She sat you down. She's grabbed food. She is, you know, just doing you know everything almost overbearingly. I'm like, Groka, Groka, calm, calm down. Like, let's just. I was just so worried about you guys going down there, and then and then um. Well, Dahlia and Sage also went down there, and the, we still hey, haven't seen them. And then I saw the fog, and then I just... No, no. Look, we're adventurers. Like, we're heroes. But that doesn't mean you can't... I, I don't know what I would do if I lost you, Flanagan. I just... Damn, you, you got to die. I survive? I... I was gone. I was gone for a while, and you, you, and I fell you, apart. Why'd you fall apart? Are you not strong? Because I Are didn't not have. Oh, oh. Not in the pit. Not in the pit. You kick ass. We kick ass. That's what we do. <laughs> Remember the little claw things. She's like, I don't. You don't what have you to worry about? because I'm the shit. I'm the leader of the Greedy Devils, you know what I'm saying? And you are the shit. And that is why we are we. Because I respect that you're the shit. And you respect that I'm the shit. But like... <laughs> You're so nervous and scared for me that, like, it makes me feel like. Do you not think that I can handle this stuff? I. I I I, I don't. You gotta trust me. I got it. But what if you don't? <laughs> well, if I don't. Then I die an honorable death, and that's cool as hell. But we knew that's what was up from the jump. I've been an advent like I've always been an adventurer. That's part of the deal. This is kind of a super like this is like a more mature Flanagan than I've seen, I think, ever actually in this moment. Yeah, I like it. But that's weird for Groko. <laughs> right, right. It's one of those like, hey, you know what we signed up so for. We know what we signed up for. <laughs> we should just you should like be content with that. And she has absolutely no clue how to respond to this. <laughs> did I did, did, did I do something wrong? No, I just I could just tell that you're nervous and you're seem to be like hyper worried and concerned and it's sweet but it's also like you know when I go out there I gotta go fight and kill and I gotta defend my life and I gotta like I gotta be on my A game and I, I can't if if you have me worried that your whole world is gonna implode if something were to happen to me then it's hard for me to go out there and focus on what I'm doing cause, I, cause now it, it's, it's even more pressure Mm -hmm. so, no, you hold me back, chick. I love you with my whole heart, Groka. But you know, you gotta have trust. You gotta believe in me, and I believe in you. 
We could go be a cow- power couple. You could come kick ass with me. You know what I'm saying? Then you don't even have to be <laughs> We met because I complimented your weapons, you know what I'm saying? I need some time. The DM needs some time to think about this, so we're going <laughs> to cut real fast. <laughs> we're going to cut to Attila real quickly. Attila. You find yourself um, out with a rose at, at Bob's tent. Close enough. <laughs> at at Bob's tent, the flaps are open. You can see him sitting at his desk. Yeah, I just walk in. I nod my head, and I'm like, "Bob, oh. listen, we uh, we, we got an issue. I'm sure. An issue. You look at him, and he's uh, he looks tired." Uh, furthermore, he's starting to, he looks a little gray. Mm. Listen, An Bob, issue. I, What's the matter? I know you've been working and I'm sure the last thing you want to hear is this, but I, we got an ancient vampire named Balthasar claiming to be all powerful <laughs> coming for us. So. By the, the <laughs> case of the ancient vampire. <laughs> but Balthas- Balthasar. Sorry, I just I'm it's about the he seems to have have trouble even putting a sentence together. Oh, that that Balthazar. You see the left side of his face twitch violently. Oh, he's having a stroke. I know. As he is, <laughs> his hands are shaking. I. About this, and you okay, Bob? He falls. You say he's okay. You are you okay, Bob? And he just face plants on the. Oh bench. shit! God damn it! No. What's with everyone passing out? Like stomp him. Fuck. Um. Yeah, I just go over and I'll try and <laughs> smack him awake. Bob. Bob. Come on. Smack him awake. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Bob. I'm not like a haymaker. <laughs> I'm just like, no, like no. You turn him on his side and you see he is unresponsive. God damn it. All right. Um, he is um, in your medical estimation. You've seen this before. Um, usually with people uh, that are more elderly than this, if I remember correct, um, your. Huh. Sorry. A bitch boy. Um, you've probably seen this. Well, hello. Sorry. Uh, just saying hello to Pedigree. They put a bunch of emotes in chat. I love that. Anyway, uh, you, uh, yeah, you pull him to the side and you've seen this before. Um, he needs immediate medical attention. All right, I'll 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 pick him up and sling Bob on my shoulder. He's much heavier than Lotus, I imagine. Holy shit. There is one more person in the camp you know that can take... that That is medically trained. That would be Manu. Manu. All right. Um, you, bet, you best believe I'm picking Bob up, and I'm, I'm going straight there. <laughs> and you had... You, you, you have Bob over your shoulder. As you You're head picking out. so many people up today. I, I was going to say, you've been picking up a lot of uh, people. Flanagan wants uppies. <laughs> <laughs> Flanagan wants uppies. Anyways, um, you uh, rush through the camp. Like I said, there are so many people here. It's almost like an impromptu celebration. Um, that uh, it, it is hard to work your way through the crowds, but you spot Manu. He's sitting by the fire with Jake and John and uh, Heshima. No, as you I... work your way through the hey, through the hey crowds, man. you probably call out over the heads of others and yeah. Oh, what is that, Bob? He sta- comes to his feet and John is. Oh shit! Uh, 
the, yeah. the, the renegades themselves all come to their feet. What's the matter? I I don't know. He just I mentioned. Well, well some, I mentioned. Here, 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 bring him over here. I have I have a cot. <laughs> yeah, I'll go over and lay him down. Yeah, he, he motions to uh, this. It's not a it's not a tent. It's more of a lean to just right over. It's got a cot on it. And he puts Bob down and. Oh, I was afraid of this. All right, let me what? see what I can do. Um, as he's working, uh, he opens up his kit and starts pulling out all sorts of supplies. Um, it, it's been mentioned that Bob has a terminal illness, yes? Yeah. It's, well, uh... this is, um, as he says, as he's beginning to work on Bob, all sorts of, um, all sorts of instruments and holy symbols as well. This is, um... <sighs> This strain is particularly resistant to magic, and it looks like this is um, starting the terminal stages, mm. or this is starting the final stages. Uh, um, we get to start magical chemo. Um, oh. and mm. you hear behind you, Attila. I've got some people. Where do you want us to meet? Um, Bob's tent. I, yeah, yeah, Bob's done. Uh, all right, I'll I'll get him there. Um, uh, you guys, um, what's going on? Looking at the renegades, um, we we're gonna meet in Bob's tent. We we need to fill him in on some things. Lotus is passed out, and I think John kind of turns and says, "Well, no shit, Bob's passed out too." Mm-hmm. A lot of people passing um, out today. Lanigan passes out. <laughs> and that's where there's a finger up in the air for Manu for a moment. It's like, not passed out, this is worse. But that's, I can, <laughs> he goes back He goes back to work. He's not even going to try and uh, explain is... right now. Manu, is Bob going to be all right? I, you... if I work quickly enough, yes, it's good you found him. Um. If he had been just left there by himself, who knows what would have happened. I feel like I caused this. He's been under a lot of stress lately, and... (laughs) He's like, I caused it? No, no, no. This is... This was going to happen sooner or later. It's just fortunate that someone was there when it did. Hey, you saved him, man. All good. Um, well, I guess... Passes out, by the way. (laughs) Flanagan passes out. Flanagan <laughs> passes out. Um, but well, I guess if everyone's meeting at the tents, um, I guess I'll go back because I gotta we gotta fill some people in on some some shit. So. Okay. Manu looks at the others and says, "I I don't, I I don't need people breathing over my shoulders. I can handle this. You you go." John goes, "Well, it looks like someone's gonna have to go be de facto in charge. Might as well be me." Yeah, I'll and... um, I'll I'll storm off towards the towards the, not necessarily storm off, but start heading towards the right. tent. Rush off towards Bob's tent. Yeah. yeah. Um. Let's see, Sunel, you're headed towards Astra. Yes. Yes. All right, you uh, head towards Astra. Uh, you head towards the library. As you blow open the front doors, probably shooting them. I'm joking. Um, as you shove I mean, them. maybe, but uh, they're not anyone's dog, and I'm not a cop, so. Right. Huh. As you. It's, Jesus. Okay, now that now that we've been uh, shadow banned by Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been mad real, y'all. Bullshit. Like they give a fuck what we say about the cappers. But as you head, as you throw open the front doors, you see October sitting at his desk. Ah, yeah. So Where's nice Astra? It's good to see you. Um, she is currently sleeping. Um, the sunlight is um, out for the first time in many centuries. I, I'm yes, and Althazar is also out for the first time in many centuries. Who? He says with a confused look upon his face. Balthazar, her sire. I'm sorry? 
and the elder vampire that was down below in the prison that was totally the mines this entire time that was run by House Adagi. At the name House Adagi, that clicks. None of the rest of that clicked for him. But he goes, I suppose I should call Astra then, shouldn't I? <laughs> and he hurriedly, uh, he open. You can see he pulls something uh, out of the desk. I haven't used this in a minute. Give me one moment. It's um, almost like a, it's an odd looking, we would think of it like a switchboard. Mm -hmm. As um, he starts plugging in um, different circuits in different spots. Ah. And this item starts to glow. And all of the windows on the front and uh, all of all of the windows in this building tint and black out, Ooh. closing off the sunlight from this place. And he goes and the last thing he does is he takes a bell, uh, this small little serving bell off of the table and just rings it twice. There's no sound. But there's a short moment. And behind you, Snell, you hear sleepy times not interrupted, but on pause. There is a jolt. It's like, you need to not do that. Balthazar is free. Batty who? Was he lying? He said that he was your sire. Siring times no recollection memory. Someone as you see her step around you and turn to sit on the desk facing you. Has there ever been another vampire that lived here? Someone that you would have want to trap down in House Adagi's old prison complex? Roll me a d20. Ooh. <laughs> she kills you. He said he knows first number regular. And you can see on her face for the first time genuine confusion. Like the sire times are she just kind of shakes her head like at a, a what the fuck? He said uh -huh. that you ruled alongside him. But then you finally uh, trapped I... I understand now, um, says October. Uh, so this was long before my time here. But this is something I've tried to work through with Astra several times. Before a certain point, her memory is... It's more than fractured like the rest of it. It's just gone. And she just goes, persistent nomenclature, especially in, especially on Fridays. And he goes, I don't even know what to tell you for that one. I'm assuming that means she doesn't remember. And she just, she just kind of shrugs like, Batman inconsequential? <laughs> An elder vampire wandering around here is inconsequential? She says, no, 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 no. Bat... Hmm. Baddies are... She's she's just for once words have failed her. And I think October like stands up, like puts a hand on her shoulder and says, it's fine. It's fine. It will come to you when it comes to you. I don't think she's trying to say Balthazar is inconsequential. What I'm trying to what I think she's trying to say is that. Hmm. Let's let's take it from the top. 
there is, was, or is a vampire down in the caves, yes, who claims to be Astra's sire. And claims that Astra is the reason why they were in prison down there for a very, very long time. Yeah, well, very nice of them. Astra does have a bit of a conscience, so I suppose that would make sense, yes. Especially if this one seems to lack such uh, morals. It was those exact, it was that exact conscience, which is why they had their fight. Hmm. Well, um, this makes some sense. Um, and in a moment of clarity, you have Astra say, humans are not chattel. Just kind of like, <laughs> and there you have it. Right. So whatever happened between these two, if that is in fact what has happened, even though are you sure we can trust what this person has said? No, but they were a credible enough threat to where them being free has me worried for everyone out here. And it has me worried for Sage and Dahlia, who, because every moon garden apparently shares a singular brain cell, decided it was a brilliant <laughs> idea to go one into the caves alone without informing anyone and now they're down there when it just so happens that our wonderful miracle of fixing all of this means all of the fog has gone down there and they are probably most assuredly dead that is unfortunate says October in the biggest yeah. understatement of all time with this. It's not even it's not even a casual. This is unfortunate. This is a I'm not sure how to process this. That's. Unfortunate. Um, it'll be more unfortunate once Lotus wakes up from this random coma she's fallen into. The. Uh, Lotus has, and yes, and Dahlia is. Mm. She just kind of glances at Astra. As, do you think that connection has been severed? Is that what the problem is? There's a moment, and Astra just shakes her head. No broken connection. Signal. 5G. 5G. Just full bars. What signal are you talking about? Um, Dahlia and Lotus are twins. You ever heard of the twin connection? It's a I special bond that certain twins seem to share from, from time to time. Well, yes, pseudoscience, but very... Hmm. Pseudo by science, uh, by science measurements, but something that still has enough anecdotes that um it, it could be useful. Um, more specifically, I was just asking Astra if um that connection had been broken. Astra doesn't so, seem to think so. Dahlia, and hopefully by is not dead yet. Age is not dead. Yes, at least for the moment. That being said, from what we saw, there is no um, going into those mines right now. Wherever they are, it's going to have to wait until the fog subsides, which... This is new. This is new. I don't know if or when that will ever happen. And I'm assuming we have you to thank for it, for the town. Yes, it was a consequence of our escaping from Balthazar. Balthazar. Astra, I think we should do some reading. Because this is, this is more than we've had in a long while. 
um, we didn't even have a name to go off of, but he's looking around the library. It oh. means that we might have a place to start. So now we'll hand them the, the journal. Attila, found... did you give the journal to... Oh, you did give the journal to Sunel, that's right. And you hand it to him. And he's looking at it. He flips it open. An unusual cipher. Hmm. Interesting. And he flips to the last page. This note is unnerving. I don't even know Why? if it's referring to Balthazar. It seemed like there was something else down there as well. I was going to say, why change he to it? Who knows, perhaps this town housed lycanthropes on top of everything else. We found this journal inside what I could only assume to be a warden's office. It was far too well furnished to have belonged to a prisoner. It was inside a desk, but the room had been thoroughly destroyed. This is a problem. Astra, what we were talking about earlier maybe stepped up a little bit further. And Astra just kind of looks and says, Evacuation. Um, did you find what you were looking for down in the mines? We found, yes. We found the Moonstone, if that's what you're referring to. Good, good. We can take, um, we'll see how much we have. Um, the sigil will need to be repaired in the lighthouse, and... After that, I. It may not be safe for the townsfolk to stay here. Especially if, like they say, like you say, Balthazar is really on the loose. I'm an old vampire. One that has not, not been free for a long time. Hopefully not at the mm -hmm. fullest extent of their power, though they were able to not feed upon us, but leech off of us by their very presence. That is unnerving, to say the least. And at that moment, the door flies open behind you guys. It's Gwen. Mm -hmm. Um, hey, uh, Bob is sick. Um, something's gone wrong. Uh, Attila found him. Um, we're we're having a meeting in Bob's tent um, to try and figure out what 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 needs to happen next. Um, I'm sorry I interrupted. I just figured you should know. Snell probably takes a really deep breath and just glances October and Astra's way with one of those look that's like, whatever you need to do, do it, and also is a bit like shit, you know? This is... I would encourage you to speak with some of the townsfolk. I know I am responsible for the day-to-day, -day, but I have a feeling that I'm going to be indisposed for at least the next few days. I'll see what I can do. Good, good. Um, <clears throat> Sunel, I... I thank you. We thank you for what you've done for Beacon. No matter what comes next, we appreciate the efforts of you and your group. All those efforts will be for nothing if this town ends up being destroyed by whatever we've let out down there. We can discuss that at a later date. Suffice to say, you've done good work. Snow will just nod their head and then follow Gwen. Mm -hmm. As you guys head back to the tent, Gwen goes, 
Um, so we've got Eris looking after Lotus. We've got Manu looking after Bob. We've got... Um, I, I think I've managed to get some of the townsfolk. Anybody important? I just... You can see she looks stressed. This all feels like it, it, it was a good moment, and now it's all kind of falling apart. I don't know what's... I don't know what's just going take on. A, take a moment to breathe. You're no use to anyone if you run yourself ragged. <laughs> I could say the same to you, snake man. Snake they. Just a long <laughs> stare. <laughs> if you would say it to me, then take your own advice. <laughs> <laughs> they gentle days first. Let's go see what the others need to talk about and We're leave after. Thady. Thady's and gentle thems. No, we will. We will get <laughs> on to the less the less climactic moment when we have time I'm to just. Death. She's. She she just puts a hand on your shoulder for a moment. She's like, I'm just trying to relieve the stress. I'm sorry. Chanel just gives them one of those looks that's like, bitch, do I look like someone who gets jokes? <laughs> <laughs> bitch, do I look like someone with... Bobby, bitch, do, do I, I look, look like, like someone with a sense of humor? <laughs> <laughs> but... That being said, Attila is already there. Flanagan. Um, at some point, Gwyn does come by Grelka and just go, we're meeting in Bob's tent. Uh, you should probably be there. And that's probably in the middle of your guys' conversation where she's just kind of short-circuited. Okay. All right. Um, I've dumped a lot on you, so I'm going to go to Bob's tent. Um... Damn. <laughs> Damn. Okay. And she's just kind of like. Do you want to come or, or do you want to? Uh, I'll I'll be there. Okay. Hell yeah. And <laughs> and yeah, no. Uh, she she uh stands up and uh, like doesn't like follow you. She just kind of goes by herself. Ooh. D.O.G. puts oh, her man. head in your lap as you're still sitting there and just sits there for a moment. Hello, D.O.G. Damn, that was... Oh, good. I, I'm not there, but that was hard to watch. Hey. <laughs> She's... I'm doing what I, am. I mean, I don't, you I don't to blame you. Tonight. But, so you go and uh you head to the tent. This tent is a big enough for this kind of thing. But um, if they're an NPC I have named, they are there. Sick. So you've got everybody from so the renegades with the with the two. Well, with one exception of Manu. Uh, Gwen's there. Heshima's there. Jake's there. John's there. Um, out of the claw, everyone except for Eris is there. Um, it looks like Benoit. Uh, you guys kind of lost sight of her in the crowd. The first thing she did was go over to Osgard and get him oh. his medication. So Osgard is looking a lot more alert. Um, is looking a lot, you know, and has been filled in at least somewhat on the situation. Um. Let's see. Grelka is there. Um, Levy is there. Mop. Uh, Greg B. Nadir. Naya. Sage. And then you guys. Sage is there? Sorry, not Sage. Uh, uh, I was about to say, I'm like, he just, just showed up? <laughs> no. No. Um, That's when we Gideon go. is not there. Uh, yes, I am Sage. Totally, yes. Bleh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... Gideon is not there. Oh. I couldn't find Gideon. Um, I think he was looking. I think he was. I think he was over by the caves. 
Great. I'm I'm sure he's okay. I don't know. We gotta We'll fill him in. Um All right, everyone. Um Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kinda like stand up at like the edge of the table. I don't know. I'm gonna Attila's gonna treat this as like a war council, <laughs> essentially. I'm sorry. I figured I'd call this session in the in the meeting. In the meeting, oh. says John with his. Yes, John, John is already sitting in Bob's chair, and he's got his feet mm -hmm. kicked up on Bob's desk. Maddie, would you be so kind? And can Maddie just catapult him out? It, of the it chair? is so. I, I feel like I, I probably would ask, but is John in charge if Bob? Because if Bob is indisposed, is that is that canon? That is, or is he just... never something that has been discussed publicly. And as a matter of fact, um, I can remind you, um, <clears throat> John isn't even supposed to be the head of the Renegades anymore. Um, because John there was a meeting. Uh, Attila wasn't there to see it, but there was a meeting that the others would remember where basically it was, hey, I was gone for like two weeks and you did jack shit. No, you... You need to learn a fucking lesson. I'm putting uh, Jake in charge of the Renegades now. And Renegades. it just so happens to be that Jake is um, pretty soft-spoken when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Um, I think... Uh, it, so John John says he's like, I think I'll lead us in, into this session. And that's mm -hmm. why I was and like, he's got he just catapult him out of the chair as like a you want to catapult the chair out from under him pre, pre, or basically want to get him out of the chair in the most uh fuck you way possible both because I mean, lotus isn't here to do that and it's uh you know it's real fucking disrespectful the guy's not even in the grave yet and you're already trying to take his spot i exactly. yeah i i was gonna i think it's would speak out honestly um okay. You can think, both uh, do something. <laughs> Go ahead. I think, uh, yeah, what, bitch. <laughs> bitch. I think what I would say is, um, I'm sorry, John. Was it discussed with Bob that uh, you were in charge now? Heshima speaks up as, um, do you just can't, can can we say you catapult the chair out from under him? Yeah, and so, so but he just you're talking falls as on his like, ass. Just hitting a bunch of buttons and then Maddie just like twitches and turns into a little like catapult cannon. The the chair catapults itself out from under him, bounces off the side of the tent, and comes to a skittering halt right in front of Flanagan. In Diochi. Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Is it a no. sign, Flanagan? No. Good. It's a sign from the dark gods. <laughs> All right, I As didn't... he slams on his ass and just hits, you know, just laying flat on his back. That fucking hurt. Who All the fuck decided to be a bitch as he pulls himself up off the ground. There's, All in favor uh, of declaring John a bitch for not even allowing Bob to be a corpse before he dis does this. I think this is enough fighting for one moment. She's right. We don't have time to bicker. This is uh, Heshima speaking out for the first time in probably who knows how long. Yeah, but tell him to that. Tell him yeah, she's mm -hmm. correct. We 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 don't have time. I think it would be best if Sunel and Attila, Attila and Flanagan ran this meeting. After all, they're the ones that just came back. You see, Jake nod in agreement, and other members of the crowd start to do the same. All right. Well, now so the world exactly gathered. Happened? Sorry, no, no, no. She won't say that. Yeah, you, you go ahead. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I said. Now the world gathered. As everyone knows, Bob is indisposed. Um, Lotus is out at the moment too. We're not sure why she passed out in the mines. I'm gonna lay it on you, full, and 
the quickest way possible. That's what she said. God damn it, Flanagan. <laughs> God damn it, Flanagan. <sighs> the mines that we visited was a man-made prison holding what we believe to be an ancient vampire. Astra's master, potentially. That gets a lot of people going because there are people from the town here as well. Um, I wouldn't say master. Sire would be a better term. The reason that he was down there was because, to quote Astra herself, humans are not cattle. Something that this Balthazar did not agree with. And that is his I name. Think, I think a voice speaks up from the crowd. There are two other people missing here. Where's Where's Dahlia? Where's Sage? We don't the know. Two them, the two of them were also down in the mines on their own expedition when all of this came through. But at least yeah. that's what we've been told. Apparently, they. You see who spoke real fast. That was Veronica. Oh. I can't hear Dahlia's you. Dahlia's girl. Dahlia's um, girl. Um, yeah. You... Oh, okay, you're there. <laughs> okay, he's singing. That's why I'm like, what the fuck? Okay. Um, we as... do believe that they're alive. We That's were told nice. that they followed us, but when we... Mm -hmm. We can only hope that they are alive down there. As far as we so, know, the go ahead. the fog began well uh, flooding the cave system or man-made, whatever you want to call it. And that I don't believe whatever's down there would have lived. So we can only hope that they got out. Astra says that whatever connection Lotus and Dahlia share as twins has not been severed. So they live wait, she that. wait, she said that. Yes. Attila will clap his hands together, and be like, "Ah, okay, then there's hope. Perfect." Yeah, we can go back. We can fish him out. No. Okay. No. <sighs> now. I I don't know what we're dealing with. I've never fought a vampire before, but he seems powerful, as much as I hate to admit it. I, I guess I just need everyone to be on their tiptoes, as we don't know. He likes to toy. He can get into your mind. He makes you see your deepest, uh, darkest you fears. Tell me to get on my tiptoes? Is that what you just did? Hmm. You're a bad guy. You can... I think um, Veronica would say, okay, and what are us normal people supposed to do if we run into this vampire scream before we die? Actually, yes, yeah, so that would assist us with finding his location. Stay out in the daylight, for one. Well, that's one small... One small thing, I suppose. We do have daylight now. Yes, we down. It becomes dark. Well, we can hope that activating the beacon as we did in the in the caves can keep the fog away and therefore the sun. I don't. Well, I, I see. It's possible that he would be affected by whatever magic controls the lighthouse. But once once night falls. Everyone Whoa. should stick together in one place under our protection. So now, um, did what did what did Astra in, in October say to you exactly? One of the things they discussed, if this threat is real, is possibly evacuating Beacon. Okay. I'm sorry, but last time I checked, this is Timony Babblebrook speaking up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there wasn't a way in or out of Beacon. I mean, a way in, but certainly not a way out. Well, I guess also was the last time you checked, was there a sun in a working lighthouse? 
Well, yeah, but the fog still surrounds us. I have a way around that. There is an ancient teleportation nexus within the lighthouse. With a bit of time... With a bit of time, I can get it up and running. I have all of the materials, and I have the science and the magic. I know I picked the right people for the job. And this is Nikki, by the way. I thought that we were under an NDA about all of that. Oh, and she puts a hand over her <laughs> mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, Maddie so, probably actually does dab on her for that. For, bit of time, Snow. Are you able to elaborate, or do you have an ETA? However long it will take me to repair the damage that was done during my fight with Marshawn. Um, you probably hear um, another voice speak up. A familiar one to you, Attila. Well, if we all get out of here, where do we go? Assuming the sigil works. And it is the deserter. Um, yeah, I guess I just lock eyes with him and I just nod my head, no hard feelings. Um, and I say, well, I guess the first step is getting out of here, right? He nods. I I suppose we'll figure it out from there, right? No. Okay. Now, I was thinking... Oof. I don't know. I, I'm surprised that everyone is still... Uh, he seems so adamant about coming to the surface. I'm surprised that he hasn't already done something. Now, maybe it's best we each group sleep in shifts. Grinning Devils take a watch. Uh, the uh, Renegades, Golden Claw, just so we always have some sort of vigilance in the town. What about the library? If we are to sleep there all at once. It's, it, it's big enough for everyone to sleep there, right? The well, library it's... or the restaurant would probably be the best place to stay. Does anyone here know the spell Daylight? Well, as we all know, I'm a master of wizardry. You... Every time I even have Maddie look in your general direction, you start crying about magic. It freaks me out. As she looks over at you. No, see, this is the problem. This is the problem. <laughs> um, I guess, does anyone know the daylight spell? No. A possible suggestion. I believe that that would be quite a way to, uh, Welcome Balthazar to the surface in the middle of the night is to suddenly have it be daylight in front of a vampire. Nikki's a Nikki's a gardener, yeah. right? Something to note out of character. Uh. Daylight does not affect vampires. The spell daylight does not affect vampires. Uh. Bullshit! Daylight does not count as sunlight for whatever fucking reason. We can Why talk about this later, but daylight. I know, I know. Um, specifically looking at things like sunbeam, sunbeam is a, is a ray of sunlight because it says it in the spell. We'll we'll talk about it later. But uh, so Nikki was the gardener. Cries. You said, uh, Tilla. What's oh oh yes. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say um, Nikki's the gardener, right? Or gardeness. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess I'm just uh. <laughs> How much garlic you got? She's like, well, considering everything just went into overtime ever since about two hours ago, um, we might have some garlic ready now. <laughs> Perfect. So we're going to need everything we can get. Um, Does garlic well, actually work on vampires? I've tried to feed some to Astra once, and she puts another hand over her mouth. <laughs> like, there's some, some, like, side eyes from the villagers. Like, we knew you were trouble. Now we're finding out why. 
Um, I think sleeping, having everyone gather at the library isn't a bad idea. Perhaps even the basement of the library. The basement? Why? What's there? Is that uh, sort of like non fiction section? No one's hanging out there, you know. What the I'm non fiction uh, section. <laughs> <laughs> I I just gonna be like everything's on the table at this point. There's an ancient vampire. It's a it's a it's a jail down there, a prison, I believe, right? They have a pool That's... table. It's more like a youth <laughs> program, I feel like. I, I don't I don't know with cells. Oh, yes. It's like everyone's youth pastor. <laughs> Let's mm. All joke, right. joke about from that. being like, yeah, Adelaide's cool. Now this vampire's going to drink your blood. No. I think for tonight we are going to end it here because I would love some other people to chime in next week as well. And they're not yeah. here right now. Yeah, that's but fair. Next week, Lowe's is going to come to have their opinions. opinions. <laughs> yep. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah, I think we're going to start with some sign-offs here. Let's go ahead and start with uh, Rowan. Hi, old friend. Hello, my name is Ron. Otherwise known as I'm here coming here today playing Snell, who brought up the most important thing to get everyone into the basement of the the, the library, which is hey, I got a pool table. <laughs> a pool table. They got they got a bar. They got a pool got table. Pos popsicles down there. They might have popsicles. <laughs> who knows? Um, got some popsicles in the cellar. Blood. You can also find me here on Fridays, where I run Yaksha's, where uh, everyone hates therapy. Even though, it, you know, sometimes you need to get bitch slapped in order to realize uh, that you are being, you are, you are smoking some bad copium. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Also find me here on Saturdays in Lands of Iobaria, where I play Faro, the mostly soulless android gunslinger fighter who got real fucking tired of this motherfucking Drake on this motherfucking map. So uh, just sniped him through the fucking face because uh, we don't respect people. And uh, trophies aren't really a thing we're doing in this campaign, considering we're probably never going to see civilization ever. Mm. I think that's it for me. All right, moving right along. Um, Garza. No. All right, that's no. Garza. <laughs> no. My name is Flanagan. No. Okay. I guess we'll move along to uh, Ryan. Hello, everyone. <laughs> My name is Ryan. <laughs> uh, caught me here playing Attila, the white light warrior, who shows you that if you hit something hard enough, uh, a hidden key might fall out, or a hidden yeah. journal. So just keep hitting those things. Anyway, I play here every Wednesday. Uh, otherwise, I don't play any other games. I hope that will change in the future. Uh, but check out uh, right now Rowan's other games and also other people that play other games as well. They uh, do fantastic work. And that's me. All right. Is the answer still no, Aaron? No, no. Playing again? No, no, no. All right. Well, I guess we'll move on to me then. Hello, everybody. My name is Sarah Smith. Today you caught me running over the horizon. Um, you can also find me on Fridays uh, in Yaksha's. Um, I don't do this enough. Uh, if you like our content, you can also find great content over at Distal's Place, um, ADHD Adventures, 
uh, Misty Mountain Streaming, Blue Box RPGs. Um, I am thinking, uh, let's see, Sir Pfeffers does that stuff from time to time. Insomnia Night RPG. Uh, Goat Chimera. As a matter of fact, I'm going to look and see who we should raid tonight. We're probably going to end up raiding. Um, probably Sir Pfeffers. Uh, they're doing a hunt right now. Let's let's look for. Um, let's see here. How long have they been running? They've been running oh, about three hours. What about? Ooh. I was gonna say. Uh, what about you? Okay, uh, we will probably go to Goat Chimera. Um, I'm not sure what system they are running right now, but uh, nope, it looks like D and D. Um, so they are in the middle of one of their sessions. So we're gonna probably hop over there. Uh, but no, seriously, if you like our con content, go check somebody else's as well. There's all sorts of amazing stuff being made every day uh, by all sorts of peeps. So I think with that, uh, we're going to get out of here on and we're just going to say a goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. 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 Goodbye.